Hi, I'm Tom Arbuthnot, and this is a really quick Tom Talks on why you would do a network assessment when you're looking at Skype for Business. So, a network assessment is really important for Skype for Business, and we believe it's a, it's a fundamental part of a successful Skype project. But why is that? Well, first off, you can do paper-based exercises. So you can say, I've got this many users, and I've got this much bandwidth I buy from my service provider, and I've got these type of firewalls, and do some basic maths. But you really don't know that information is accurate until you put load on the network. So it's all well and good saying I've got a 10 meg connection and I've got 5 meg free. Um, is that actually true? The only real way to tell is by putting load on the network, i.e. multiple concurrent Skype calls, run them in real time and understand if your information is accurate. If, if you don't do a proper load test with real Skype traffic, you don't know that your network is set up optimally. So for example, is a proxy or a firewall going to interfere with your traffic? Is your QoS marking set up correctly end to end? Again, you can, you can configure these things, you can have the network team configure them, but until you perform a test, you don't really know. Um, with load testing in particular, um, the reality is we often only see issues under load. So running a couple of Skype talk calls is not enough to overwhelm a firewall running 50, 100 calls from your office to the cloud through the firewall, that might be too much load for that firewall to throughput adequately, and it starts causing jitter, latency, packet loss. So you can't know these things until you put the right amount of load on, and you don't want that load to be when your users are at that capacity, because it's very hard to go back from there. You want to test that out ahead of time. You obviously want to know this stuff before you go live. It's not good enough to think things are right. You're dealing with you know, users' end user experience, users' voice, video, conferences. You want to know your network is going to perform. Uh, and finally, uh, network changes uh, can often have a long lead time. So in terms of a complete Skype business project scope, you don't want to get halfway through your deployment, then find out office number three doesn't have enough bandwidth and impact your whole world. So get your network testing done up front, make sure it's a proper load test with proper Skype traffic, know how that network and that environment is going to perform before you do your Skype and user rollout. Thanks for listening. If you've got any questions, please contact us.